We're going to show you guys how we get on with Starlink. If it works. Do you want to come in? I'm a bit excited and also a little bit terrified because if it doesn't work, we are screwed. Hi, Hi folks. We just moved to the Isle of Skye and we've tried other internet providers, mobile internet and also the wired internet. However, both have let us down. So we decided to opt for this, which is Starlink satellite internet. So let's get this opened and see if we can get it working. Otherwise, we're just talking to ourselves here. Otherwise, there will be no video. <laughs> I've been told that this is pretty easy to work out. First of all, we just take off this plastic cover and then we've got this base, which is like aluminium alloy perhaps, painted. Yeah, pretty cool. Sturdy, hope it is. So the height a little piece of plastic to protect this. It's really well packed. And this is the satellite receiver or satellite dish. Very nice. Instructions? Yeah, very simple to understand. We've already downloaded the app as well and I've checked the garden to see the best area for the uh, connection here. Also in here we have the router, which is cool. Pretty nice looking. And this enormous cable. I don't know how long that is, but it looks pretty long. It's certainly long enough for what we are doing anyway. Okay. So that's, that's pretty much everything that's in the box apart from this special power cable. For the router. For the router. The next thing to do is just get this set up and see if it's going to work. We do plan to mount it on the roof of the cottage, however it's best to check it first in case we put it in the wrong place. One and two. It might not even work here. We don't know. So fingers yeah. crossed. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> we are lucky enough to know someone who fits these. He's not here in Sky, no. but we've been messaging a lot just to check what we're doing is correct. Fingers crossed we'll get it right first time. Just Let's see. Let's try it. So the stand here, all you do is just plop this in, that's it, I've already done that. And now we're going to take this inside and then fire up the router and then hopefully get this going and see what happens. Um, fingers crossed this works because if it doesn't, who knows what's next. Wow, it's doing some interesting stuff. So at the moment we're just going to run the cable through the window because we need to find out if it works before we start putting holes in our house. We've got some cardboard ready to pad it. And now I need to plug this in somewhere. So we have done that outside and now we need to plug in the router. Let's do this. This is the wire that's come in from the dish. The window. Sorry about all the mess folks, we're just moving in at the moment, so. So that goes in there. And this is the power cord for the router. Oh, I have a light. Okay. Have a light on the bottom. I think just plunk it down then. We we'll probably have to look at the app. Let's have a look at the app. Oh, view results. So that scanned the sky on the app. This is a decent spot for your Starlink. I don't know what the levels are, what's higher than decent? I'm guessing there's like an excellent or something, but this is a decent spot. I think I had great before from the front of the croft. So that has stopped moving and hopefully it is getting some signals now from the satellites. From up there. So we're looking for stinky. <laughs> is that what it's called? Please say that's it. Create no way, Starlink. it was called yeah. Stinky. Stinky, excellent. Um, enter a Wi-Fi network name. This bit is censored. Done. Okay, looks like we've got internet. Let me just check. So this is us now Jack watching our own YouTube sense. channel. <laughs> and we've not been able to stream videos at all since we got here. We've been on the weakest, slowest internet. And now we can actually stream video, which is amazing. So we're feeling quite confident. That's step one, isn't it? That's and then step, step two is uploading the videos. Uploading videos as well. But let's check. I'll do a speed check. As you can see, I'm just running an internet speed test here. Just in Google. Run speed test. I went up to about 143, I think. And upload speed, 16.8-ish, down to 15.9. So there, 145, 15.9, and test again. 16. So I went right up above the 120s there, and settled there about 105-ish. 
and it uploads 9 point something it went up to. It does fluctuate. But it's pretty stable. 108 and then 6.41 and then test again. 155 and 156. 158, 159. Fourteen, fifteen. So it's very high. And there you have it. 160.1 download, 16 upload. It's pretty good, I think. Miles better than the wired broadband and yep. apparently it improves as well as it goes on. So, so far that is a positive thing and we have internet, which is amazing. Let's hope it stays that way and we will come back and update you later with how this goes. <laughs> There's our Starlink dish in the pouring rain, as you can see. It's had everything thrown at it in the last couple of weeks. Heavy rain, snow, high winds, frost, you name it. Hasn't affected it at all. Fair to say it's snowing again. It's back, but for how long? Tools of the trade. Seeing as all our tent pegs are still in your dad's garage in Fife. <laughs> yes, well, I'm going to use these instead. It's a bit windy and wild today, so Willie's just making sure our wee satellite dish doesn't blow away. <laughs> I couldn't go outside to film this because you just wouldn't be able to hear me over all that wind. But it's going to get up to maybe 50, 60 mile an hour gusts tonight. So yeah, we don't want to lose that. We're actually very impressed with the satellite dish holding up to the weather that Sky has thrown at it so far. That'll do for now until I find something better in the fire. I swear I'm going now. <laughs> So here we are, we've had it for a month now and I can honestly say we've not had a problem with it whatsoever. In fact, last night we uploaded a video that was an hour long on YouTube. That is hard going. It really has exceeded our expectations and it's not often that you say that about anything these days, but it really has. So I have read reviews online, people saying that it didn't work for them and that's fair enough. I haven't had that experience. It's been a real lifeline for us. Without this, we just wouldn't have had internet. And another nice thing about this type of internet is that obviously it's fairly portable. We've got a pretty sizable dish here, which is going to be installed onto our house at some point. But if we did want to change locations, even temporarily, we could take this with us. As long as we've got mains power, we can plug it in. It's not tied down to a phone line, it's not tied down to an address, so it is portable. We could even start a van life. That might be pushing it a bit far, but we could technically take it with us if we wanted to go somewhere else. So Honest review, I would give it 5 out of 5 stars to be honest because it's been great, it's been stable, there is a bit of fluctuation but you really don't notice it. If you want to upload a video on YouTube it does it, you can stream TV, you can do anything you could do on normal broadband in our experience. And hopefully spaniel proof. We hope. <laughs> it's worth mentioning that we're not sponsored or endorsed by Starlink and we've not been paid to make this video. This is an honest review based on our experience. We were very worried about internet coverage moving to such a remote location, so we made this video to hopefully help others that are in a similar situation. If you click on the left icon, you can subscribe to Living the Sky Life. If you click on the right icon, it'll take you back to our very first episode.